Okay, so in this video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. This is a mixed grocery haul. Some of this I had on hand, but I've got all the prices from Aldi Australia for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to create four meals, which will all give you four portions, four adult portions of each. But we're working with, we're going to do a fried rice and we're going to base that off some rice, some mixed vegetables, some onion and some egg. You can obviously add other protein. I normally use and blend my own sauce, but you can also pick up one of these sauce packets. This is a pad thai, so it's not a traditional fried rice, but that will give you comfortably four portions and maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to mix and match over here. So we're going to create sort of a taco dish as well. So we're going to be using some mince, some taco seasoning, diced tomato, black beans and corn, and a little bit of uh, this green capsicum I've got and some onion. Uh, might even throw in some carrot as well. So that's going to be like a taco bowl type recipe. With the other half of this mince, we are going to be making a potato vegetable soup. So we're going to be using mince, two cans of the diced tomato, about half of these potatoes, some carrots, some onions, um, and just mix that up into a really yummy soup. We're going to top it with a little bit of cheese. And I'm also going to accompany that one with just some plain bread as well. And the final dish of the four is we're going to do um, a Swedish dish called Pittipanna, which is basically a use it up type meal. So I've got some uh, smoked ham, a pretty big piece of ham here. It's the smallest I could find at Aldi. We're going to have some onion, some potato and some beetroot. So these meals that we're going to be making, we can shred some cheese on a few of these things as well if we want to. But this is actually a fair bit of food. It's pretty budget friendly and I can't wait to show you what we're going to make with all of this.
So to make this super budget friendly salsa, you want to add some diced tomato, whatever flavor you prefer. These are just plain and then some vegetables I'd cut up and that um, minced garlic. The garlic is optional, but it is really nice. And then you basically just add any seasonings that you like. Obviously salt and pepper is really good, but you could also do coriander, maybe some chili powder or crushed red pepper flakes, uh, paprika, whatever you like, cumin, just go to town with whatever you have in your spice cabinet that you like. And then I'm just adding some sugar to balance out the acidity from the tomatoes. And then just pop this in your fridge and let it settle down um, before you serve up your bowls. And then we're going to cook up our meat. Um, I got this uh, turkey mince on clearance at Aldi. I often buy meat on clearance and chuck in my freezer. Obviously, if you were doing the budget friendly option of this meal, you could do 250 grams uh, of um, the mince instead. And then I'm adding in most of my black beans. You could add in all of them if you were going a bit lighter on the meat. My taco seasoning packet and then a little bit of water in the diced tomato can just to get the last bit of tomato flavor out. And that's essentially it. We're going to let this simmer together nicely for a little bit and just let it all those beautiful flavors come out. Um, and this is a very simple. You could have obviously added other vegetables if you wanted. And then we just plate this up by adding our we've got our rice that I've boiled with some bouillon cubes for extra flavor. Yogurt. I have a separate video on how I make my own homemade yogurt. Uh, you can check that out in the link below. And then we've got the salsa, the grated cheese and my corn. And then you just serve this up in a nice little bowl or in a meal prep container if you're taking it to work with you. Obviously, if you're doing this as a meal prep, you may want to warm up your meat and your rice. So you could pack this, the cold ingredients in one container and the warm ingredients in another. But this was such a comforting meal. My husband and I both really liked it and I will definitely be making this again soon. And the very final recipe I actually cooked up in a previous video, uh, which is a mince and vegetable soup. When I cooked this up last time, I had a mix of ingredients on hand. Uh, but basically the ingredients we got for this meal plan, you could easily cook a version of this soup up very, very nicely with the vegetables and all the things that you've already bought. And this is so nice and so comforting in the winter time. And it makes a lot of food as well. And you obviously you can use whatever vegetables that you prefer that your family will eat or your partner will eat. Um, and the mince is just really a nice uh, protein in there. But I make this quite often, different variations of this in the winter time. This freezes really well as well. Just don't overfill your containers because obviously liquid expands when you freeze it. So make sure that you leave a little bit of room in the top of your um, container to do that. Let me know below if you are going to end up making any of the recipes that I'm sharing today and trying this sort of mix and match meal plan. I had loads of ingredients, including potato, onion, and other things left over. My bag of carrots were mostly still there. So this is a really wonderful, easy way to do it. So these are four giant portions. That large container is probably more like two portions. And then there's another two serves there. So you could easily make six portions of soup. Let me know how you go with making these recipes and I look forward to see you in the next video.